everybody. I just um, thought I'd pop out to my studio and create this uh, video as quickly as I possibly can. I've had a couple of people ask me about putting the Bailey bow together and um, it seems to be a bit of a tricky one. So I want to show you how easy it is once you get the hang of it. Okay, so what you need to do is cut your template out. It's usually the full length of a piece of faux leather and you can usually get three or four of these out of a piece of faux leather. Now, you'll see there's two little slits. So what you want to do is roll your faux leather over so you're making a circle, I suppose, like a bit of a round circle like that. Okay, so you want to put your two slits together. So let's see. Once you've done that, lay it down on your work surface and you want to line it up just so that your tail piece is sticking out over the end as much on each side so it's nice and even. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to glue this to your bottom piece there. Now, uh, you can choose to make like a thin bow like this one if you push it all the way in or if you want to bring it out a bit more and you've got a little bit less room to play with you can have a tiny bit more of a fatter bow so we're going to just try and make it a wee bit fatter so I'm going to start give the leave the end free and just come run your glue down there we go and you just want to stick that nice and straight in place Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. Again, we'll just run the glue, not right from the end because you want the tail to be sitting free. And I'm using super glue because it's fast and it's not bulky when you do your punch. Okay, so there we go. Right, we've got there's your circle. Okay, so fold it over like I've done there, and you want to fold in half. So you're holding it there with your finger and thumb so that you've got the top lined up. Okay, so then you want to pinch on one side and do a pinch on the other. So there you go, there's your bow there. We'll do that again. You've got your little mouth. Excuse my thumb, I've just been making tea. <laughs> um, we're going to go like this, pinch here. And one side's always harder to do than the other. I have to do it this way. And we're going to punch in and right like that. And I like to tie that off with a bit of embroidery thread, and I've got lots of that from my my felt toy making. So we're going to pull that. We go ahead to my mouth. So you can line it up, you can line it up and you'll know where the middle is because you'll see where the wee slit is there. Right, so I'm gonna do a knot in that just so it holds. Oh and another knot here. Nana. Just doing a video, Bub. One minute. Okay, sorry about that. That was my little one. So we're just going to trim off these pieces. There we go. And it's really just to put the centre strap around the middle. So we'll flip it over, get a spot of glue on the back of the strap. And now you want to make sure this is straight. And that's your centre there. That's why these mats can be quite good because they have the lines and the measurements on them. Okay, so pinch that. Wrap it around, have a wee check, yep that looks good, I'm going to put a touch of glue there, okay. yep I like that, it's worked out fine, so once you've done that now you can wrap it around a little less tight if you're wanting it to be a bit fatter in the middle but I've rushed that, okay so we'll cut that off. And there we go. Give it a wee zhuzh. And you've got your bow. So you can do it. I've, I've only made the three tails. There are four. There's one more, which is just a straight edge. But yeah, so really, hopefully that just makes it a little bit clearer. And shows you how easy it is to put together. Thank you very much. Now I shall go. 
have a nice day. See you later. Bye.